Hey everybody, what's going on? Just back here with another video. So today we have an interesting poll that I want to go through you, um, go through with you guys. Um, now before we get to that, I just want to give you a reminder to please like and subscribe to this channel as it really does help me grow. And also let, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section as well. So we do have something from Polling Canada here. Now a quick disclaimer, this is a very short sample size. It's from Ledger Polling. It's only 487 people. Um, I put out community... Um, I put out polls in the community tab on YouTube and I've gotten way more views than that. So this is or more votes than that in a poll. So th this is a very, very small sample size. I just want to make that clear. But 51% in Ontario are voting for conservative. I've said it before. Uh, Canada is a very liberal country, generally speaking, especially socially. And a lot of the reason we get that reputation is because of big cities like Toronto. There's a lot of liberals in Toronto, right? It seems like they're going to still get a lot of votes in Toronto, but Pierre Polyev is also doing well in certain parts of Toronto. He's going to take some writings away from the liberals. 51%. This is the highest the, the Tories have ever polled. Let me just see. Yes, this is the highest the Tories have ever polled in Ontario this parliament. So it's... I mean, 51% in Ontario. Imagine what it's like out, out west in Manitoba and Saskatchewan and Alberta. Probably 60%. If it's like this in Ontario, well, why wouldn't you think it's even... Out west is way more conservative than it is out here. But even liberal Canada, liberal Ontario is going more to where Pierre Polyev. That's how bad the Liberal Party's been doing. Now, for a little bit more of a bigger sample size, although this one, this from 338 is from July 29th, Popular vote projection, 42%. Liberals, 26. NDP, 20. It's, I mean, I mean, 93 seats. That's what they're projected to get with a maximum of 105. Liberals, they're only going to get around 12. NDP, 16. Liberals are going to come in third place in, in uh, Ontario, it looks like. That's how bad they've been. When Ontario turns on the Liberal Party, that's when you know they're in big, big trouble. Um now, again, this is from July 29th, so it's a bit outdated, but if you look here, the odds of outcome. PCP Ontario majority, 99%. Everyone else under 1%. So it seems like the Conservatives are not only changing the tides out in places like BC, but also here in Ontario as well, which is great news because uh, if you watched my video yesterday with, with Eve uh, Blanchette, who basically signed, he didn't technically sign, some of you guys corrected me in the comment section, uh, he didn't technically sign a new agreement with Justin Trudeau, he just basically said that he'll vote with Trudeau for supply and confidence issues, that way he won't be forced into an election, as long as Trudeau gives Quebec what it wants. So again, now, now it's not just a party who's holding Canada hostage like the NDP was, now it's a single province doing it. Something's got to be changed here in our political system, because it's, it's not right. Um, but anyway, if you watch back uh, to that video, it, it does. It's going to be. It's going to be more difficult now for us to get an election when we want it, which does give the Liberals more time to recover. They've added Mark Carney to their cabinet or as a special advisor. I don't think any of this is going to help, but you might see a very very small spike in the polls because people might get it, the Liberals might get excited that Trudeau is going to be gone, as a lot of Liberals don't like Trudeau now either, but. It looks like Pierre Polyev is going to have to maintain this for at least another year because if the, if the block doesn't if the block doesn't keep to the if the block keeps their word to Trudeau, we're not going to have an election. Unfortunately, they'd have too many seats, I believe. To for, if the NDPs and the Conservative work together, it still wouldn't matter uh, if the block works together with the Liberals because they would be able to basically stop a, a, an election from happening. So. Yeah, I mean, I know this isn't a very uh, a long video, but I did just want to break that down. Yes, it is a very small sample size, but the fact that we are doing 51% in Ontario, that is very big news. So let me know what you think in the comment section. I always enjoy uh, engaging with your posts. Also, please don't forget again to like and subscribe as it really does help grow the channel. That's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you have a great day and I'll be back shortly with a new one.